project to source for me was something that came about very organically. You know, I think um, oftentimes you find yourself at the end of a year looking back on the time that has uh, passed and you think, what is the value? What's the value last year? Was it anything material? Was it experiential? You know, and I, I found myself often coming across a conversation, you know, or a specific couple sentences that I shared with a friend of mine or someone that I ran across. And those would really be the things that I would take with me. And um, I think that idea was kind of at the nucleus of this project. Um, I was interested in um, uh, creating a space, almost an archaeological dig, an excavation, uh, that went back to the source of ideas, that went back and um, <coughs> revealed and exposed uh, the process that one has. And um, you know, I think within culture, there's so many different voices and there's so many different approaches. Um, you know, that, that the project really come through on its own. And you know, within it, I want to completely avoid um, recognizing boundaries or divisions. And by that, I mean um, a, a, a segregation between contemporary art, possibly in architecture, music, and uh, cinema, anything like that. And I want to see if there's a way to create an artwork that kind of went back before these divisions and it went back to the idea of language and storytelling. Um, how candid observations can, can become stimuli for something that can become, you know, uh, a strange building, possibly by David or Herzog de Meuron. Um, how just a tempo that you hear from your refrigerator in your kitchen can become the impetus for a song by someone like James Murphy and LCD Sound System. And I kind of love this idea of um, a kind of radical stimuli and kind of mapping of the world around you and how all those sources come back to who you are and what your vision is. Um, I think with this project, um, I, I recognize that I could use the moving image as a tool of sorts. And by filming, um, we could then take you know, what was perhaps an hour or two conversation and reduce it down to four minutes. Um, every conversation in this work is the same running time. Uh, exactly four minutes, and it kind of allows this teacup to fall. Um, <laughs> this form of chaos theory. <laughs> it, it allows the the installation to kind of synchronize and choreograph in a way, where um, you know at a certain given point, you know, every conversation cuts off and they're replaced by more other people and other configurations. You know, and I and I like that idea. Going back to chaos theory, I like this idea that when you walked into the space, you know, hopefully it was like walking into this kind of chaotic scene. You're hearing different voices, this kind of cacophony of ideas, you know, and then you, the viewer, you're empowered to choose which person you want to listen to and how long. And, you know, when you're done with that, you step away and possibly fall into someone else's dialogue. Um, so, I guess those are some thoughts on this piece, really. Uh, <laughs>